Good morning to all my watching it replay people while we wait for the others to come on. <clears throat> I hope you are doing well. Probably getting ready for Christmas maybe. Today I have cinnamon rolls to make and caramel corn to make. We make amazing cinnamon rolls for the kids each year and then we package them up for our adult children too. So that's today. Um, yeah, freezing cold out there today. Good morning. Good morning. Just going to give it a few seconds here. Good morning. How are you? It's so hard to see. I'm not good at this, sorry. Yeah, there we go. I can see that you're on, but I can't see who you are yet. So if you can hear me, give me a wave. I'm assuming you can hear me. <clears throat> oh, there's more. Hello, hello. Give me a wave. I am assuming you can hear me. I have never had that problem. I see numbers, but I don't see bubbles yet. Hello, hello. Give me a wave. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Becky. You can hear me okay then. <clears throat> I'm assuming. Merry Christmas to you. We are going to pray together today. I'm going to read some scripture and pray together. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, oh, we've got more. Welcome. We're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the scripture in Matthew 18 that says, Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by the Father <clears throat> in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. And we have at least two or three, so we're good here. Um, so this morning, I, I just felt really led to pray these scriptures um, over our families. And it could be um, your husband, your children, your loved ones, um, your grandchildren, you know, whatever it is. And what's been happening very often, at least lately, the Lord will give me a dream. And it's just like a snippet of a dream but it just pulls at my heart and I wake up very like grieved over it. And then as I sit with him and Holy Spirit leads me through scripture, it becomes very clear why he gave me that dream. And that happened again this morning. And so, and he keeps reminding me, hurting people hurt people. Okay. And so if you've been hurt by these loved ones, I just would encourage you to have compassion for them um, because people don't hurt people unless they've been hurt. Okay. They don't know the love of Jesus. And that's why we hurt people, right? We don't know the love of Jesus fully. And so to, um, to remember that they've been hurt and they're in bondage in some places. So, um, I'm going to read through these scripture that he led me to and just kind of pray through. And the main focus was, um, out of, uh, Psalm 68 about how he's a father to the fatherless. And then also those who are captive are bound by chains. Okay. And, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with Psalm 68. It says, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Sing to God. Sing praises to his name. Extol him who rides on the cloud by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Verse 5 says, he is a father to the fatherless. A defender of widows is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families and he brings out those who are bound into prosperity. And so I'm going to pray over the scripture, over um, your loved ones. So you just agree with me in prayer over anybody that you're thinking of, okay? We all have fatherless places in our hearts, okay? Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the father to the fatherless, Lord. And we bring before you our loved ones, our husbands, our children, our grandchildren, Lord. We bring them before you, Lord, and we ask you 
to just step in and father all of those fatherless places and spaces in their hearts, Lord. Even those with the most perfect of fathers would still have fatherless places in them, Father. And you are the good father, and we ask you to go in and heal and father them in those places. And we also ask you, Lord, to bring those who are bound out into prosperity. Another version said, out into joy, Lord, out into freedom. You are the God who sets us free. Okay, Psalm 107. Um, those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in afflictions and irons, because they rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their hearts with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses. We're crying out for them today. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and he broke their chains in pieces. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. So I'm going to go ahead and pray that over our, our family members. Lord, I thank you that you are the one who brings us out of darkness, Lord. You transfer us out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light, the kingdom of your son. We are asking that for our family members, Lord, that you would bring them out of the shadow of death, Lord, and that you would break the chains that hold them back, that you would break them in pieces, Lord. We give thanks to you, God, for your goodness and for your wonderful works, Lord. We praise you. <clears throat> okay. Psalm 146, 7 and 8 says, He who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry, and the Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He relieves the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the one who executes justice for the oppressed, Lord. You feed those who are hungry, Lord. Those who don't even know their souls are so hungry for the living word. And so, Father, we ask that you would set them free, that you would bring justice, Lord. You would bring freedom to the prisoners, Lord. And we pray this for all of us, Lord that our eyes would be open. Your, your word says that you open the eyes of the blind. Lord, we ask you to lift the veil off of our eyes, off of their eyes, Lord, that they would see the truth, they would embrace the truth, and they would walk in the truth. We thank you, Lord, that you watch over our loved ones and you relieve them in their fatherlessness, Lord, all those broken places, Lord. You shall reign forever, God, and we praise you. Okay, Isaiah 61, speaking of Jesus here, it says, He sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to pr proclaim liberty to the captive, captives and the opening of the prison to those who are inbound. And so, again, keeping with this bound theme here in brokenheartedness, Jesus, we thank you that you come to heal the brokenhearted, Lord, and you proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of prison to those who are bound, Lord. We speak to all those captive places, and we say, be opened in the name of Jesus. Psalm 147, praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers together the outcasts of Israel. Lord, gather the outcasts in Jesus' name. Heal the brokenhearted, Lord. Bind up their wounds, God. You are the healer of broken hearts. He counts the number of the stars. He calls them all by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifts up the humble. And that word there is those who are oppressed or depressed. Okay? He lifts up the humble and he casts the wicked down to the ground. Lord, we believe this and we declare this over our loved ones, Lord, that you would lift them up in their pain and their brokenness and you would cast the enemy down out of their lives in Jesus' name. And here's just a few promises um, that he led me through. Um, 
I'm not sure where this one starts with. I don't have it written down. Oh, maybe it's uh, Psalm 147. The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his mercy. Okay, that's us, ladies. We fear the Lord and our hope is in him. Praise the Lord. Praise your God. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates and he has blessed your children within you. Okay, that's a beautiful promise. Um, Psalm 125, those who trust in the Lord, that's us, okay? Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved and abides forever. Okay, that needs to be our declaration. We trust in the Lord and we will not be moved or shaken. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth forevermore. Okay, we are surrounded by the Lord and we are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved. Psalm 115. Oh, dear friend, trust in the Lord, for he is our help and he is our shield. The Lord has been mindful of us and he will bless us. He hears our prayers. Okay, he hears and he answers and he will bless us. Zechariah 2. For I, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire around her, and I will be the glory in her midst. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, okay, I take this as a promise from the Lord this morning. Let me repeat that. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming, and I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord. This spoke very specifically and personally to me. He has told me that he is coming. You know, he's given me promise after promise. So I declare that he is coming and he will dwell in our midst. Okay. So I will sing and rejoice, right? Not be curled up in a heap waiting, but I will sing and rejoice because he said he is coming. And then this really convicted me. Be silent, all flesh before the Lord, for he is aroused from his holy habitation. Okay, be silent, all flesh, all emotions, all the fleshy stuff. Zip it, unless you're speaking the truth. Be silent, because he has arisen from his holy habitation. Okay, so cling to those. I'm going to po post these scriptures in the event, um, if you wanted to, to, to print them up and pray them yourself. We've already been praying, so I've hit my 10 minutes, so I'm going to go. But I just pray blessings on you. Um, tomorrow we're going to do a uh, communion. I believe we'll do it at 10, 10. So grab a cracker and some juice or some wine and we will do communion together, um, tomorrow morning on Christmas Eve. Okay. Have a great day.